Okay, so we're going to drive through the park a little bit so you can get an idea of the park. You see a lot of golf carts. Plus, the properties are very well kept in general. Um, they, they're pretty strict on making sure that people do take care of things here. We're going to drive down by the um, by the pool and the, the clubhouse so you can get an idea of that. He has decided he's done everything and he's made it very clear. I mean, it's evident to us. You can see it's a rather All big he's making, that uh, makes it possible community. For him to go. But he hasn't decided. Um, and, and they need to stare him down. All right, very good. Well, this has been going on for some time. I suppose the staring down uh, between both sides will continue. Uh, Former Ambassador William Taylor, thanks so much for those insights. I uh, hope we can bring you back sometime. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. All right, coming up. Uh, We're going to go this way so you can, you can see the little canals and the bridges like I, I mentioned to you earlier. And we'll go over them so you can get an idea. You can see all the boats there. That's the, one of the canals. A lot of boats. Some of them are at the back of the homes, and then some of them are kind of a marina. Okay. One of the little bridges, and we'll go over that on the way back. It's another little bridge. Another little um, canal. And the island there. It's the lighthouse at the edge there of the water. Oh, they must be having something going on. There's a lot of golf carts over here today. So they must be having a, some sort of a party or something. Because most of the golf carts are over here that are usually scattered throughout the park. Want better wireless? Switch to consumer cellular. Okay, so if you go straight up that way past where these RVs are, this is where you go to get to Palm Point. Um, I can't go there with the car. I have to have a golf cart or a bicycle. Um, but that's how you get there is that way. And then we'll go back here. I'll drive around the back. I'm going to send you some of the pictures that I found online of the pool. There's two pools. There's a hot tub. There's a um, clubhouse here right at the edge of the water it's an inlet that goes to the river and you know it's two seconds to get to the river through there if you have a boat a lot of people have kayaks and things like that and they zip around in so this is the clubhouse here and we'll zip underneath the um there's no part of our bodies that here. more work than our feet. And with all that work, your feet can start to ache. So there's a place to put your bike and lock it if you need to lock it, but I don't think in here you really need to. It's a pretty laid back area. Um, I don't, I doubt that there's any theft in here, but there is a place to lock it if you wanted to. That right straight ahead is the tennis courts. And there again is the lighthouse that's at the edge of the water. If you look out over here, you can see downtown Fort Myers across the um, bridge there. Uh, we're not going to be able to see the pool real well from here because all these golf carts are in the way. But there's the pool area right there at the back of the clubhouse and there, like I said there's two pools there and a hot tub turn that down so you don't have to hear about sketchers and we'll go over here and go over one of the bridges so you can see the canals and how, how nice they are a nice bike ride for you to get out and cruise over the bridge and go to the islands and stuff This is Ian Island that we're going to. Again, there is the canal. See the boats. Adam Drive, part of this road right here, goes directly out to the river. And you got fountains, of course, in the little pond there. Keep the water circulating. Nice houses on this side. Nothing on the other side by the water, of course. down 
to the end here so you can get an idea of what we have here. The lady's got a three-wheel bike, but it's got huge wheels. Never seen one like that before. Mm -hmm. So then these on this side are backing up to the river, I would assume. Looks like there's some bushes in between. I know where there are a few that are directly on the river. I know there's one for sale for $499,000 that has direct river access. I'm not sure which one it is. And I don't see a sign on any of them. But these all back up to the river here. And you can see the, the river across through between the houses here. And you can see across the river. Okay, so we'll go back up the other way. And we'll get off of this island.